All right. What is up, traders? What's up, tycoons? Super excited for today's video. Going to give you guys an update on Casper. Now, there is a chance for some nice profits on Casper, okay? We just need the right things to happen. I'm going to go over what those things are and the warning signs that you need to watch out for in case they don't happen or we get a false breakout. So be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We're going to break it down in today's video, but as always, the content provided on this channel is for information and educational purposes only okay and is not intended to be relied upon as legal financial or investment advice so be sure to read through the full disclaimer now we're going to go ahead and um hop right into the video and we're going to go ahead and go over here to the casper chart on trading view and we'll go ahead and make this full screen for you guys and just give you guys a live breakdown real quick all right so what it is that i'm currently looking at that has you know my full attention right now on casper is our macd okay and our rsi all right and there's you know there are two different things but those are the two reasons right now why i'm really watching the price action now um, in case you guys have been missing, you know, uh, my videos on it, you know, we came up, we hit both of our bullish price targets up here and we formed something known as bearish divergence right here. All right. Now this is an indicator that we could see some bearish activity, right? And what happens is we made a high right here and then we made a higher high right here. So clearly the price of this token and this coin was in an uptrend. All right. But if you take a look at your RSI, we had bearish divergence at this moment. And you can see we we're actually in a downtrend at the same place we made a high. Uh, we made another high, right? And then we actually made a lower high where the price of the token in the coin made a higher high up here. Okay. So you can see that that is a term known as bearish divergence. It's an indicator we could see bearish activity. And we also hit our bullish price targets, AKA resistance. And sure enough, we had a big drop to the downside. Now, on top of bearish divergence, what did we also get? We also got a sell signal here on the MACD, which I've explained multiple times. This has been a good entry and exit signal for Casper on the daily MACD. And we see the red line here crossed down below. That's an exit signal. And we also got the bearish divergence. And sure enough, we've had a very sharp drop to the downside afterwards. We had some key levels of support we were looking that we needed to hold if we were going to try to push back up higher. And we actually broke through those levels. And we're approaching our demand zone down below, okay? Um, now, <clears throat> we may drop further into this demand zone, all right? Right around here to about the 0 0.03752 level, all the way down to 0 0.03425, uh, let's call it. But currently, what I'm looking out for and what I'm paying close attention to uh, that I see is we're very close to breaking this bearish divergence trend line on our RSI, Okay. So let's drag this out a little bit further here, okay? And let's take a look at what happened last time we got a breakout on the RSI, on the bearish divergence, okay? We actually had a very strong rally, and you can see that that's right here at this point in time. And we had a very strong push up, okay? Huge, huge gains right there if you were to be able, uh, able to capitalize on that. Now, what you need to be cautious of is this right here, okay? This is what you do not want to see. This is known as a look above and fail, and it's a bearish signal. And sure enough, we had a look above and fail right here, and we had a move back down to the downside, okay? And the reason it's significant is because on this breakout, bulls have the full opportunity right here to push price higher and take control of the price action and show that they're in control. And if they look above and bulls fail, it's going to show that bears are in control, and you're going to see a bearish move in the price action, okay? So right here, as we're getting closer to approaching this level, we want to see, are we going to get a breakout and move sideways or move upwards? Or are we going to get a look above and fail? That is your warning sign. And if we get this breakout and we're able to stay above this trend line right here, we could see a strong move to the upside in Casper. So that's what I'm paying close attention to right now. Now, what's really nice is when these things coincide with the MACD, okay? So if you take a look over here, we had that false breakout on the RSI, and sure enough, what did we get? A sell signal very shortly afterwards where that red line crossed below the yellow line here, and we see we had the look above and fail, two bearish signals, and sure enough, price action took a plunge, right? Over here, we're getting very close to breaking out, and we also have the MACD 
curling right up to that yellow line. So we're currently right at the yellow line. If we can get this to give a bullish entry signal and we get a nice breakout and hold above this trend line, then we could see a nice push up in Casper. Now, if you're looking for short-term trading levels, okay, 0 0.04474, 0.04842 and 0 0.05210. Those are going to be your major, major levels of resistance to the upside if we get a strong push. Okay. Um, so these are the areas that you want to pay close attention to. Now, if we get a strong push, all right, and we see another parabolic move, again, we're going to be looking and targeting the old bullish price targets, okay, of 0 0.05721 and 0 0.06270 and see if we can retest some of these levels on our way to the upside. Um, but Casper has a very good setup right now. OK, the signal is not confirmed. We have not gotten any type of confirmation, but these are the type of things that you want to look for setting up and you want to look for the confirmation signals that I gave you guys. And if you get those confirmation signals, then you may see some positive movement to the upside. And you always want to be cautious of the warning signals and the warning signs that I gave you guys as well, uh, such as that look above and fail, as well as the MACD bearish exit signal and bearish crossover. OK. Those things are just a few of the simple strategies that I use to help me uh, become a profitable trader over the years. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more.